At first mention of former Fort Atkinson High School athletic race, the name John Offerdahl is undoubtedly in the conversation. And that is why we are honored to present him as the first Blackhawk athlete for induction into the Fort Atkinson Wall of Fame. A 1982 graduate of Fort Atkinson, Offerdahl achieved success both on and off the field as a three-sport athlete and a National Honor Society student. John was a standout in football, basketball, and baseball, but it was in football where he excelled the most, earning Associated Press First Team All-State Honors at linebacker in 1981. Offerdahl's success on the field helped him earn a scholarship at Western Michigan University in Kalamazoo, where there, John not only earned a degree in biochemistry, but became a four-year star for the Broncos, earning All-American honors twice and becoming the school's all-time leader in tackles. And by the way, there's a record he still holds today. His accomplishments at Western Michigan led the school to retire his number, number 49, in 1995. John Offerdahl's achievements in football did not stop after college. He was a second round draft choice in the NFL in 1986 by the Miami Dolphins. Not only was he drafted, but he was really, really good. Eight years with the Dolphins, he appeared in five Pro Bowls at inside linebacker, and that's when they actually played the Pro Bowl. They hit each other, and he was named first team All Pro in 1990, helping to lead the Dolphins to a 12 and 4 record. Amazing. So, on behalf of the Fort Atkinson Athletics family, it is my great honor to present for induction to the Fort Atkinson Hall of Fame. Shine off her dog. Thank you. All right. 30 years ago. That's amazing. And it all started with one lady. My mom. Yes, uh, I want to introduce her. Uh, this is a special time, Mom. I want you to stand up, give her, give a whistle. And uh, I need off and off. You have to understand, I grew up with four older sisters and a domineering mother. And I had to find my masculinity some way, somehow. And it was through sports, thank goodness. Because those hand-me-downs in the 70s did not look too fashionable. Alright? So, uh, I also have a sister who represents my other four domineering sisters. Sue Hogarth, please stand. And her family, Bob, and my two lovely nieces. But I just want to tell you, you know, you look at things that kind of create your life, and you look back at the beginnings, and it starts with mom, and the family, and the sisters. Um, but then, it, uh, you know, from sports to coaching, all of a sudden I realized, and I look back, and I know how fortunate I was to have great coaches. Jeff Bowes, a baseball coach, when I first went out for baseball, uh, framed what it was to be a player and, and a, a competitor. Coach Borland on the football field, Coach Gruber on the basketball courts. These are people that I look back at now with Coach Shula, maybe the greatest NFL coach ever to coach. And I look back and I say, oh, I had great coaches. I had great coaches as a Blackhawk. And uh, that's what I want to kind of tell you. I, I, I had an opportunity to give a pregame little pitch, and I saw a great coach who cared more about his players and how they how they held themselves up, gave their best efforts, then they, the, I feel that he does about necessarily the wins and the losses. To me, that's a great coach. The wins and the losses come. Building the character of people and of boys and, and athletes that go for the rest of your life is something great coaches do. So, I, I also want to, not least for last, 
thank you guys, the community. I, I don't know, just I'm curious. How many parents, people over the age of 48, were here back 30 years ago? Oh, that's, that's amazing. I want to I wanna just thank you. That this is a community that can, can give you a child a dream that can honestly not be limited uh, by, by just the constraints uh, of a small town. And that's something special. And then I also want to thank Doc Russell. Uh, there's two intimate relationships I have, so apart from my wife and my family. One is coaches and one is doctors. They kept me on the field. And Dr. Russell did a great job, not only as a physician, but as an encourager to the players that he had the opportunity to treat. So uh, it's an honor for me to be standing up with the Russell family. I just give them I'm humbled and honored. I just want to thank everybody, and I am always a black. Thank you. John, on behalf of the school district of Fort Atkinson and the wonderful community, if I could have Mr. Herkey unveil your banner.